Hey everyone, Dustin here from Law at Your Side. When should I file my workers' comp claim, you're wondering? Let's talk about it today. So you're wondering when should you file your workers comp claim? Well, what I generally recommend is you file it right away. This is a general uh, tip, a general thing. Even if you get a lawyer or not right away, you should at least report it right away. You should at least um, let them know right away. Um, and then there are certain statute of limitation requirements that uh, you gotta follow so you don't wait too long to file your claim. So um, there's, there's, a, there's a defense, it's called statute of limitations, meaning if you get injured and you wait too long to report, or to file your claim, um, the courts may say, hey, you waited too long, we're gonna throw your case out. So how long is that limitation period? Well, it kind of depends on the circumstances, it depends what's going on, but that's why we generally like to file the claims uh, right away. Generally speaking, you're supposed to file it within a year, um, but there are several exceptions to that. Um, and I've got them written down here, I'm just gonna look over my notes here so I remember them all. Um, so for example, let's say you get injured and you report to your employer, hey, I got injured, I'm hurting, and your employer fires you, or they don't give you a claim form, right? Technically, that can toll the statute of limitations. Technically, you may be able to file it uh, over a year after the injury. The problem with that is it becomes a he said, she said thing. They could claim that you never reported it, you never told them, and you're saying, yes, I did, yes, I did. So it's he said, she said, and who is being truthful here? Uh, if you can report it in writing with an email or get some sort of acknowledgement from, from them, that's more helpful. Um, but if they give you a claim form and they say, okay, here's your rights, you gotta file your claim within a year, definitely file your claim within a year. Don't wait more than a year because you could create complications um, in your case. Second thing to look out for, um, did you receive any sort of treatment or benefits from workers' comp? So if you file the claim and then they send you the doctor and you're treating and treating, let's say you treat for a couple of years, in that case, you don't have to file it a year after your injury because you're getting benefits from the employer, the insurance carrier. They're aware of your claim. Um, there's no prejudice to them. They're not saying, well, we didn't know about it because they're obviously treating you and giving you benefits. But generally speaking, if you stop treating and you stop getting benefits, then the statute of limitations begins to start at that point. Now, there's, um, uh, there's different ways to interpret the law. It's been interpreted different ways. But generally speaking, after you get your last benefit, you can wait up to five years potentially to file your claim. I would not wait that long. I would definitely not wait more than a year to file it. Um, I would actually I would file it as soon as possible, really. But um, you know, generally speaking, there's some case law that says you could wait up to five years after you receive the last um, benefit. But again, there's certain circumstances where may you may not be able to wait that long. So it really, really depends. You don't want to wait that long. You certainly don't want to wait. Uh, more than a year after your last uh, benefit that you received, whether it's treatment or monetary benefits, okay? Um, third thing, let's see. Oh, so did if you, don't, if you don't report it, let's say you report it and then they say, no, you didn't, um, then they're claiming that they didn't, but then you file it later on. Any sort of delay, they can, they can try to um, say there was a delay, but let's say you report it and they acknowledge it and they're aware of it, but then nothing happens on the case. Um, and you report it more than a year. Sometimes we could try to get out of that um, as long as it didn't cause any prejudice to the employer for that delay, we might be able to get out of it. Again, it's very fact specific. It's, it's one of those, again, where we don't wanna have to deal with that issue, but if you're in that situation already, don't think your claim is completely lost, although it's just gonna create more roadblocks. Um, so that's, that's a, the third thing to look out for. And um, there's some case law too that says if you, did you ever get notice of your right to file? Like if they didn't give you a claim form, were there notices posted around saying you could file or you have your right to file? Or did you ever talk to an attorney and does that create constructive notice of your right to file? There's some different uh, scenarios and laws that discuss that as well. So that's, that could be certain ways that where you're, it could fall both in your favor and also against you. And then lastly, and really importantly is, do you have a cumulative trauma claim? So. In a prior video, I've talked about there's specific injuries where you're walking and you trip and fall or something like that. Something happens on a specific day. But there are also injuries called cumulative trauma claims where you're working and over time you start to feel some pain in your shoulders or your back or wherever in your body. But it happens gradually. It happens over time. That's a cumulative trauma claim. So 
you let's say you stopped working four years ago, right? But it wasn't until yesterday that a doctor said, you know what, your your back that's hurting here is because you worked for 20 years in this company. And you say, well, doc, I stopped working four years ago. He's like, well, I know, but this is why your back hurts. And let's say you had no knowledge, no doctors ever told you that, you could potentially still file your claim um, even four years after, even if you had never reported it to your employer, you thought it was just, you know, your back's hurting for whatever reason, you didn't really know. Um, because for a cumulative trauma claim, it's deemed that you didn't know you had a cumulative trauma claim until a doctor has told you, yes, you, you ha basically, yes, give, giving you the knowledge that yes, you, your work at your employer is what caused your back injury and you have some sort of disabling, um, disability or disabling, um, uh, thing going on with your back. So that's, that is, um, so, so that's why you can sometimes file those claims much, much later. Um, again, I don't like to wait that long because it just creates roadblocks. It creates complications. Um, and the less roadblocks and stuff we can have in your case, the easier things will move, uh, forward. So that is my, uh, general tip on when you should file your workers comp claim. Again, usually do it sooner than later. Don't wait too long because you don't want to trigger any of these potential statute of limitations flags that could cause delay in your case. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and also be sure to give us a call if you have a question on your workers' comp case or you want help on your workers' comp case, 818-861-9675. Talk to you soon.